Sometimes you're at wit's end in terms of how a mouse or mice are utilizing a particular area and whether they are in, how they're getting in or out of a building. And sometimes you need to go the next step and get a little help. Well, you have some tracking powders, and I don't mean toxic tracking powders here. These are these are non-toxic items. This isn't poison, but these are usually used for chalk uh, for, for chalk lines. And so I wanted to talk about this as a very over-the-counter type of way that you can use to find out where the mice are getting into a particular structure. Maybe there's just so many openings like a Swiss cheese and you just need some help to figure out what's the main one that they're using so that your control efforts can be more targeted. Well, what you want to do is take these particular products and I'm going to suggest that the Irwin Straight Line Orange is the one you'd want to use. And you'll notice that when we go to black light use, that the blue, the blue one doesn't come out as well. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a five by five inch strip of powder and put it in the location, typically against a wall or around a corner that the mouse will have to walk through. And then what happens is the mouse gets this material on its feet and then you'll see it begin to powder off over time as it's walking to a particular location. And then you would use a black light to help you find those particular spots where the mouse has been working. Now, obviously this requires good weather to be used because you don't want the rain to wash it away. But of course, inside of a structure, this would be an excellent way of doing because you don't have to worry about water or wind blowing things away. So we're gonna stop here for a moment and we're gonna turn the lights off and we're gonna go to a black light just to show you how things luminesce under black light conditions. Now you'll notice that the orange here is far more uh, iridescent or luminescent than the blue is. And so that's why I think you're gonna find a much easier time using the orange. And so if I take my finger and I just sort of tap it, notice that may be all that you see a mouse leaving in terms of a track, and then it will just simply diminish down as time, as space goes on and more and more of the powder gets distributed distributed away from the original location or off the mouse's foot. But it can be a very powerful tool, not something you're gonna use very often, but being an extraordinarily powerful tool in your toolbox when you need it, and I would encourage you to use it. You can also use this sort of powder inside of bait stations where mice are gonna be just traveling through, and sometimes they can get into their fur. You, If you put it into cotton balls, the mice may be able to get inside that and have it come onto their body and then they'll shake it off as time goes on. There are also various non-toxic baits that actually have uh, black light material that the inside of the bait so the mouse will actually excrete it in their droppings and it can be a way for you to determine uh, whether the mouse is using that particular bait or not and to see where they're traveling. And so it can be easier for you to see droppings, particularly if you're in an area where there's a lot of clutter. I think it's called Lumatrack. So it's something else for you to consider. Now let's say you don't want to purchase a black light such as this. This is a flashlight that uses, uh, that has regular light. And then if you click it a few times, it'll go to black light. Uh, black lights really are a tool in the business, but they're not used that often because normally you can see droppings and you don't need to. Well, there's another little trick that you can do with your phone. And what this involves is, is you take a piece of scotch tape, put it over the light of your phone, and then color it blue. And then you take another piece of tape, put it over that blue mark, and then paint it and color it red. These are with um, permanent markers. And so you have a blue-red uh, filters over your light. So when you turn on your light, as I'm trying to do here, again, you'll have some luminescent coat. So you can make a sort of a homemade black light using your, using your cell phone. And we'll uh, turn the lights on so you can actually see what that looks like on your particular. Not as strong, it's not as certainly as powerful as the black light I'm gonna be using here. But, you know, in a pinch, it can be it can be helpful for you in terms of finding things should you should you care to use it. I'll just show you what that looks like. You can see the blue and red on that particular scotch tape. Not the greatest, it's certainly not going to be as good as something that's a dedicated black light, but it may be useful for you in a pinch.